Hello everybody! Brief message before we get started. Check out me and Honey Cake! I... It's been a while since I wore Honey Cake, so I'm just excited. I wanted to show off my cord a little before the video started. And I just found this little me moving back at the store yesterday and I was like, Hey, what? Does it go with Honey Cake? It kind of does. I do have the pancake bag, but that is very deep in my wardrobe. I tried to get it out. Nah. Now, AP, <laughs> that's gonna stay buried in my wardrobe because, you know, AP bags that are leather or some kind of leather material, they chip so fast. <laughs> so yeah, we're rocking honey cake today. This is also the first time I've worn it with this clothes. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, and with that, let's get started right now. everybody and welcome back to yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about meetups now that we're talking about you know where we stand in the Lolita community. I wanted to talk about meetups which is a fun video idea that was suggested by one of my subscribers and thank you for that. I love it. We're going to talk about meetups and yeah, so my comm actually has been meeting up pretty regularly. I feel like the quarantine period really just kind of like slapped us all in the face, like start meeting up more. <laughs> so we were doing virtual meetups and of course we are back to in-person meets. Mostly, we did have a craft meet the other night that was virtual, which I, I love. I didn't, get, I didn't get a chance to go to it because I think it was when I was still working. But I love the idea of a craft meet. I feel like craft meets are, cause we're all just so creative and crafty. So I, I love that idea. So that's, that's top tier idea. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like my community meets up pretty regularly now. I believe we just had a meetup at round one, which is an arcade. We do arcade meetups, I feel like a lot. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of go through, you know, how to host your own meetup. What, what are my favorite meetups? And yeah, cause I feel like, well, it's a, of course it's just fun to do things by yourself too. Like if you're a lonely, lone Lolita watching this, like just go to a park by yourself and have like a picnic for you. Sometimes I'll bring like a stuffed animal because I, I just feel like alone. I'm like, if they're gonna stare, I might as well have a friend with me. <laughs> Even if it's a stuffed animal friend, I, no shame. No shame. I, I, I love to bring my stuffed animal friend with me on a picnic by myself. But yeah, so I, I, since I've been in the Lolita community for a very long time, I'm good to kind of go like, how, how do I plan for meetups? And pretty much the process, I know it will be different, like depending on what's going on in your area. Like I live in a very heavily populate, populated city. So it's very easy to find new stuff to do. And I know that's not always the case for people who like maybe live in like the different parts of like, there are Lolitas that are in the same state as me, but obviously they live at kind of like the outer kind of things. And there's, you know, it's like in Kamikaze Girls, like there's, <laughs> Momoko does the, lives in like the country. There's not many like opportunities for Lolita meetups and also she's a lone Lolita. So yeah, I pretty much, so my group, how I start is basically I kind of find something to do and then I generally, I'll post our, our community usually post through Facebook. Sometimes I'll do Discord, depending on where your social, where your community is do like a general gauging interest post now like not actually like planning just like hey i would i was thinking about going to the aquarium having a meetup at the aquarium who would be into that and people would be like hey i'm interested then you choose your dates and then what i usually do since facebook is actually really nice for planning meetups because you can you know gauge who's going who can't go you can invite the entire group which is nice. So Facebook, you get one. <laughs> you get one. Facebook isn't good for like anything else. 
but yeah I will gauge the interest and then I will usually actually post a poll kind of like oh what dates would people be interested in and what people like what dates work for people what and then I'll generally gauge kind of a, a date around like the most interested the most chance that people will actually be able to attend it and so yeah and then I will create the event page and people will be like, hey, I can go, hey, I can't go. And it's a good place to like, like talk about rides, talk about COVID procedures, obviously. That, that might not be the case in the future, but right now it's very kind of like, what are the COVID procedures? Do you need Vax card? Do you need masks? All that jazz. And yeah, you have to, to kind of take a lot of things in mind, like admission. I know I just went to the aquarium, thankfully people ch chose like, I think people bought their tickets in advance and right now the aquarium is doing time ticketing so it was pretty easy, just made sure everybody bought for the right time. I think most people actually in my comm were like buying ahead which is, <laughs> which I love that so good, and nobody was buying at the door because with time ticketing obviously that time slot might sell out, but the aquarium doesn't usually do that. It's just a COVID thing, so yeah. And I feel pretty comfortable. I'm just talking about the last meetup I planned, which is at the aquarium. It was for my birthday. I was like, let's let's all head it to the aquarium, and it did. It turned out pretty well. It turned out pretty well. I want to say, and well, since I've worked there and volunteered there for many years, I feel comfortable actually planning to a meetup at the aquarium so I was really comfortable there but I feel like a planning like a meetup I didn't feel comfortable was my first meetup in a while that I planned over the summer it was a picnic at a park but unfortunately the day that I chose I plan I like planned the day like months in advance but unfortunately I didn't I wasn't able to anticipate a big concert in the park that day and I was just like oh geez so I had to like change parks last minute and the park I chose as an alternative had like a, a garden art show going on but it's okay they 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 were pretty chill with us they were like we just like picnicked in the middle of this art show and people just were like okay that's fine <laughs> the park staff actually really liked us and asked kind of questions about our fashion and stuff so it turned out well but it could have been a disaster you kind of got to make sure you're pretty if you're planning a meetup you got to be ready ready for disaster got to have alternatives like i know we live in a very rainy city so planning alternatives kind of like to the to like planning alternatives to your like meeting places which is very hard to do because of covid i know we just had a valentine exchange in the park and it was very cold thankfully I d it didn't rain on us but it was very cold so yeah we live in a very rainy city so we really gotta plan ahead if we're doing something outdoor that there might be an alternative solution to where we can go indoors but yeah just my advice like plan make sure you just plan it can be very stressful if you don't feel like you're comfortable with it planning on your own I know I I've been in the community since 2010. I co-hosted an aquarium meetup, I think in like 2018, 2017 or something. And I was supposed to co-host with the picnic meetup, but my co-host had to bail out on me last minute. So I was very, so I feel like I've just, and I planned a high tea. I've, pla I've been planning a lot of more meetups lately. So I do feel a little bit more comfortable planning meetups. It can be very stressful, but usually things will work out so you just kind of gotta do it you just kind of gotta go for it <laughs> that's my advice with planning me like plan go for it just do it just do it if you want to go somewhere just do it yeah there have been a lot of i feel like in my community we've been i feel like pl planning a lot more i feel like meetups that are <laughs> Like we have our arcade meetups, I feel like are classics, you know, high tea is always a classic. I of course did the aquarium because that's sea themed, the aquarium is just kind of how I roll, you know, and that, that was, that, that turned out really well. And then, oh god, but we've had a couple, uh, conventions, conventions is the next, 
next one I, my c local convention is pretty popping off with the leaders except I've never actually met up at anybody at the uh, other convention I we have our comic book convention then we have our anime convention I work at the comic book convention but I was wearing Lolita my off time and I found like lone Lolitas and new Lolitas and okay I did find a couple people like from my comm but I don't think they were wearing Lolita they're just like hey there she is <laughs> they noticed me because I was in Lolita I didn't notice them at first because they were not in Lolita I have also really bad facial recognition if I never recognize you at a meetup I'm very sorry <laughs> but with the, like the masks and just like we're all wearing like different wigs different cords I just have I'm just very bad at facial recognition so I'm like oops <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I pre-apologize for everybody I've met up at meetups and I've been like, hey, and then I just don't recognize them. <laughs> but yeah, conventions, I, I do kind of want to go to the anime convention this year, but I do not know where, what I'll be with like money and work and <laughs> all of that. Like, will I have a job? Will I have money? Because <laughs> meetups are expensive to do sometimes like there's this casual if you don't want to spend a lot of money obviously like picnics in the park are one of my favorite things kind of now I, I i do like them and i had a really good time obviously unless you like have to reserve reserve a spot it doesn't really cost any money to do so yeah picnics i would say are pretty up there aquarium also pretty up there and let's see conventions conventions cost money but i feel like you're bound to get kind of a really big group. My group at the anime convention, there's always like a fashion show. There's always big meetups. Sometimes there's tea, I think. Oh yeah, during the comic book convention, actually, there was high tea for uh, International Winter, International Lolita Day. And I missed it because I was working and I was like, no. <laughs> so yeah, it, w it was tragic. Why did that have to fall on the same weekend? <laughs> But yeah, conventions are usually good. Uh, honestly, yeah, picnics, picnics in the park is an uh, untold secret. I love a good picnic in the park. Of course, now that it's spring and summer, we're going to get, be getting better weather for that, which is very nice. High tea is also a classic I love. I hosted a high tea. It was, <laughs> oh God, beware for high tea. Like high tea is very expensive. I think there's also cat cafes in my area. I did, wasn't able to go to the cat cafe meetup which because I was working. It was very tragic. I was like, no, I want to pet some cats. <laughs> and also I have cat's tea party. I'm like, I got to wear cat's tea party to the cat cat meetup. But sadness, 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 sadness. I could not. I could not do it. But yeah, pretty much to basically sum up everything up if you want to plan a meetup do it there's a lot of different avenues of course you have to kind of gauge like your area I feel like there's stuff to because like honestly anything can be a Lolita meetup if you if you're meeting up with people like I think my community's done like drag shows my community's done so many other things I've I'm trying to like think of all the other things but yeah usually the ones that I gravitate for are like arcade meetups cafe meetups, picnics, and of course like the zoo or aquarium because I'm like the zoo or an aquarium that's always a good time <laughs> but that might be just me personally uh yeah but anything anything could be a little lead of meetup if you just meet up with your community you just have to communicate with them see who gauge kind of who else would be interested in doing this activity and then plan 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 and always plan for disaster, even if you think it's going to turn out all right. <laughs> that is something, like, I, I should have done. I was like, you should have planned for disaster. you Because you're a disaster child. Plan for disaster. And, yeah, just do your research, plan. That's my advice on meetups. And, I, I that, yeah, that's pretty much all, <laughs> all you got to do. If there's anything else you want me to cover about meetups that I might not have covered, let me know in the comments below. And that's pretty much it. All I got to say for now, thank you all for joining me once again. I really appreciate coming out for another video. 
if you could tell these aren't scripted. I just kind of come up with this stuff on the fly. <laughs> I'm still a newbie. If you have any advice, new videos, all that in the comments below, let me know. Let me know. Please, please comment. <laughs> I actually do love to read the comments on videos. And yeah, that should be it. Thank you all for joining me once again, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. I got a lot of stuff coming in the mail, so it might be an unboxing. We'll see about that. And yeah, thank you all for coming. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.